This is the story of how two cousins from Texas changed the world of work forever. It's the tale of a small company that succeeded through marvelous ingenuity, a little bit of luck, and a whole heck of a lot of hard work. It's a uniquely American story about rising above the rest, about delivering more for less, and above all, about exceeding expectations. Meet Charles Nathan Williamson and Emmett Eugene Dickey. These Texas cousins started out in the vehicle and harness business and later sold hats. But they were really using their heads when in 1918, they purchased a small apparel firm called U.S. Overall. Four years later, they renamed the business after themselves and the Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company was born. Their very first product, all cotton button fly overalls was a sign of things to come. They were simple and durable. And before long, they were flying off the shelves. As sales rose, new products came online and the Dickies brand quickly became known for comfort, toughness, and value. By the end of the 1920s, sales had reached half a million dollars. Not even the Great Depression could stop Williamson Dickey. The founders of the company refused to take salaries. While most businesses were laying people off, Williamson Dickey added 250 employees to the payroll. With money tight in American households, Dickey's major selling points, durability and value, were more attractive than ever. From 1930 to 1939, sales doubled as workers wearing Dickies helped the nation get back on its feet. During World War II, Dickies became the choice of the U.S. government. As Williamson Dickey mobilized its operations and produced more than nine million uniforms for America's armed forces. By the end of the conflict, the company had 2,000 employees and manufacturing facilities that spanned the continent. Dickies was well on its way to becoming a nationwide brand. When returning servicemen went back to work, Dickies provided them with a uniform for peacetime. The matched khaki set, which was wildly popular with workers of all kinds. Hollywood noticed too. Whenever the script called for a typical working man, the wardrobe department turned to, who else? Dickies. Other companies might have rested on their laurels, not Dickies. During this era, the company introduced a number of innovations, including the Easy Alter waistband, crease resistant fabrics, and brass zippers. The most significant breakthrough was a patent for the permanent press process, an idea Charles Donovan Williamson got while watching his wife give herself a home perm. With a well established confidence in basic work apparel, it was a natural step for Dickies to develop comfortable, durable casual wear. By 1956, the company was selling apparel to 6 million people in all 48 states. And teen idol, Pat Boone, was singing the praises of Dickies. The whole world came calling, and Dickies expanded quickly to overseas markets like Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. As the 1960s unfolded, America's tastes were changing and Dickies experimented with expanded casual wear and fashion lines for men. Dickies' advertising from the period reflected the changing times. In the 1970s, Dickies' apparel reflected the shifting attitudes. Within 10 years, Dickies' advertising had migrated to new concepts to reflect the time. Dickies' designers became much bolder, offering unusual products in wild colors that matched America's more open, freewheeling lifestyles. Some of these new ideas worked, and some, well, yet through this turbulent period, Williamson Dickey never retreated from its commitment to deliver comfort and functionality to longtime workwear customers. Those core values made Dickey's the dominant name in the workwear market by the late 1970s. As America's cultural influence grew throughout the world, awareness of Dickey's grew too. During the 1980s and 90s, the global community couldn't get enough of American brands. Dickey stood for something real. And musicians, teen skateboarders, and 20-somethings in cities everywhere adopted the brand as an anti-fashion statement. While the popularity of the Dickies brand surged, Williamson Dickey continued to grow with new product categories and into new markets around the globe. In 1980, Williamson Dickey established a domestic licensing program, established Dickies Europe as a division, expanded into Africa, 
and acquired Van Moore in Europe, a workwear brand serving the European industrial laundry, healthcare, and corporate markets. While Williamson Dickey was deepening its global footprint, the Dickey's brand was becoming even more prominent within mainstream popular culture and didn't have to work very hard for product placement as stylists and costume designers recognized the inherent authenticity of the brand. Even in the office, America was loosening its collar and going back to basics. Dickies leaned on its vast expertise in basic apparel to develop clothes that people could wear to work and after hours. During the 90s, Williamson Dickey continued to focus on growth and expansion, establishing an international licensing program a presence in the booming Asia-Pacific region, the Dickies Canada division, and it acquired a new workwear brand, WorkRight Uniform. Known for flame-resistant uniforms, WorkRight Uniform Incorporated was founded in Oxnard, California in 1973. The addition of this brand to the Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company made sense, building on its core workwear heritage and the evolving needs of workers around the world. Between 2000 and 2008, Williamson Dickey established two new divisions to capitalize on exploding global demand, Dickey's Mexico and Dickey's China, and shored up its presence in Central and South America. But they didn't stop there. In 2008, the company acquired Kodiak Group Holdings in Canada, bringing on three new brands, Kodiak, Terra, and Work Authority. The additions expanded the Williamson Dickey family of brands, establishing new strengths in durable footwear, work boots, and an ever-expanding retail footprint. In 2011, bucking the trend of slow business growth as a result of the global market downturn, Williamson Dickey continued to find new areas to expand the business to meet the needs of consumers around the world, establishing Dickey's Middle East and Dickey's Japan as new divisions of the company making headway along with its other brands, expanding into new markets around the globe. Today, Williamson Dickey is still family owned and managed with headquarters in the same Fort Worth, Texas building that served as its first factory. By staying true to its founding principles and never straying far from its workwear roots, Dickey's has become a global apparel pioneer with a presence in over 100 countries around the globe five flagship brands, over 450 retail locations, and a worldwide associate population of more than 7,000 individuals. The Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company has come a long way from its humble roots in small town Texas, USA, operating state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, creating products the right way through global manufacturing compliance, maintaining the highest standards through company-operated quality assurance labs, and ensuring that those products get to market on time through new advanced technology distribution centers. Dickies continues its relationship with customers through many powerful marketing channels, introducing image advertising in magazines and on television, promotions and sponsorships from professional bull riding to sponsored specialized sports teams, and an imposing presence on the retail floor. Williamson Dickey has come a long way from a tiny firm selling overalls to farmers, and the company's founders wouldn't recognize many aspects of the modern 21st century enterprise, but they sure would recognize the guiding principles of the business, which are as alive today as they were when the Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company was born. Wherever people appreciate a great product at a great price, wherever the core values of honesty and integrity are upheld, Wherever there's hard work to be done, you'll find Dickies, still exceeding expectations.